so these are some growth strategies we're going to talk about in interaction. We're going to talk about how to use interaction to help you grow as well. So we'll get to that in just a minute. Twitter growth strategies, like I said, follow other people in your market using Twitter. Um, search for people that um, have topics that are going on in your local market. Search for people who are fans of the Penguins, and then follow all those Penguin fans. Not all of them are going to follow you back. Not all of them are going to be interested in what you're interested in, but at least you know they're most likely local people, uh, regional people. Search for people who are tweeting about um, local uh, things going on in your area. If you have a local event coming up, search for people that are tweeting about that event. Search for people that are tweeting about your city names. That's a good way to target people in your area. Um, tweet tw Twitter and Facebook. Um, keep that cocktail party mentality. Share relevant information um, to people. Don't, don't just talk to them. Listen to them and, and talk back to them. Um, if people are, are talking about the vehicles that you sell, start a conversation with those people. Use the app mentions. Use the hashtags to talk back to those people. Now, you said you're not that familiar with Twitter. Are you familiar with the app mentions and the hashtags? No. Okay. An app mention is where you just put the other person's Twitter name in your tweet. So if you were talking to me, you would say, um, at DT Ferrara, I saw, you know, great posts about uh, the Ford Mustang. You know, we have those on our lot. A great post about, you know, the the new charger. We have those on our lot, whatever the vehicle might be. You know, if you'd like more information, let me know. That's a little retail, but if I'm talking about purchasing a charger, it might be relevant to me. Um, even if I didn't talk to you first, if you see that I'm talking about it, start a conversation with me. Don't be shy. Um, if someone is talking about your dealership or about the brands you support, continue to talk to them as well. But using that app mention makes it show up to them that you've talked about them. So that's how you start a conversation in, in Twitter. Then they'll tweet back to you with uh, at, you know, Smail Auto Group, thanks for the, the offer. You know, I'm not quite ready to buy now, but where can I find out more information? And you might be able to have it. And then it'll show up in your Twitter account that they've talked to you. So that's the at mention. Uh, and then the hashtag is really just a way to make yourself more searchable. Um, there are certain people that ask for alerts every time someone uses hashtag Mustang. And hashtag is that pound sign, um, you know, from like a, a phone, but it's a pound sign. Um, so I might say pound sign, hashtag Mustang. And there are certain people who on their Twitter accounts, every time someone uses that indicator, will get an alert to tell them that someone's talking about Mustang. So that way, all the people that are interested in what you're talking about will get an alert that you're tweeting about it. In all honesty, you probably don't want to worry about this yet because you're still tying your Twitter messaging into Facebook. And people on Facebook tend to get a little uh, annoyed when you use Twitter symbols in your Facebook posts. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're going to keep them tied together for now, don't worry about it. Okay. Um, but uh, if you do start tweeting separately from Facebook, or if you even do on a one-off basis tweet separately, that's one of the ways you can leverage uh, the functionality of Twitter to grow your audience. And I guess probably just uh, you know, kind of on the on the tool side of that, right now you're probably looking at Facebook just in Facebook and Twitter and Twitter and YouTube and YouTube, right? Right. So there, there's some other free tools that are out there. Um, last time we got together, I had mentioned Hootsuite, H-O-O-T, Suite. Um, mm -hmm. That's a free tool. There's um, Ping FM, which is another free tool. And what these let you well, do what's is the other one? Ping. Sorry. Ping. Ping. Yep, the like the golf club ping. Okay. Dot FM. Uh, okay. Yeah. And, and what they let you do is they can let you have economies if you post. So when you write a post, you can go ahead and, and put it into multiple profiles at the same time. But it also gives you kind of the more dashboardy feel where you can actually look at um, just from one desktop multiple uh, multiple accounts. 
So as you're looking at people who, um, who you're following on Twitter, you can see what they're saying, and it gives you that ability to go ahead and retweet, respond, um, that kind of stuff uh, in that platform without having to go to, you know, i got to go to Twitter to do this, and i got to go here to do that. And, it, and um, the other part that it gives you, let's say you post a link um, out there, in like Hootsuite's case, that link is actually shortened up so, you know, it doesn't take up that many characters in the case of Twitter, but it also gives you the metrics on it. So how many people actually clicked on that link that you posted, it'll give you those metrics. So you know if what you're putting out there is engaging your audience across multiple platforms. Okay. That's cool. Now, are you doing any, as long as we're talking about uh, the tools that are available, do you use any social media from your cell phone right now? No. Okay. Nothing you need to worry about. If you do in the future, you know, you get uh, one of the web-enabled phones, whether it's an iPhone, whether it's, uh, you know, a Droid or some of the other phones that are out there, there's some really good apps that you can use for those um, to post on the go. And I found it really helps me for some of the, the things that I manage just because uh -huh. I don't need to always be in front of my computer to do it. It's getting 10 steps down the road. We don't need to be there yet, so don't, don't worry that you're not. Um, but if in the future you start to do that, let us know, and we can uh, recommend some tools that might be helpful for you as well. Okay. And, and there's even some native stuff. So, you know, like in my personal life, I've got a four-year-old, and um, he was trying to teach himself how to wink, um, which was just hysterical to watch. So I just took a short video and uh, from my mobile phone and was able to email that video to Facebook and that suddenly became a wall post. So if you took that kind of that business context, if you guys were out at a sponsored event, if you guys were at an auto show, um, you know, that type of stuff where you're able to go ahead and kind of get that live content, you're able to go ahead and do some of that on the go. You're not talking production crews, you're not talking, um, you know, high end by any means, but the quality is actually pretty good. Um, and, and again, it, it, it lets you do that from the event in real time. So let's say it was at the auto show, you guys are at the auto show, and you're able to catch one of the uh, board or accurate executives or designers who are there at the auto show and talk to them for, for a minute. Great content, going to be of interest to your audience, um, and it gives you a fast way to go ahead and, and take that content and get it onto your site. But like, like Dan said, that's a little bit further down the road, but the tools are there to be able to do that when, when you get there. 